Howard names the lesson in Genesis chapter 14. We've talked in the past about how important names are in the scriptures. And we have several important words here in Genesis 14 that all relate to significant um, things in the gospel. We have Mel uh, Melchizedek. We have the city of Salem where he was the king. And we have the key character in God's unfolding plan of salvation from the Genesis story is a guy named Abram, or later his name is called Abraham. So, we've talked before that the name is the lesson. So let's explore this just briefly. Melech in Hebrew means king, and Zedek means righteousness. And Salem means peace. Like today, today in Hebrew, uh, you might say shalom, or in Arabic, salam. And uh, Salem, or Salem, means peace. So Melchizedek is the king of peace. The town that he lives is called Salem because he wrought so much righteousness that people lived in peace. And I think it's interesting that we are asked to participate in the Melchizedek priesthood and by so doing, we become queens and kings of righteousness. So the name itself of the priesthood power or God's power that he shares with us and invites us into is so that we can become kings and queens of righteousness so we too can live in peace. So here in Genesis 14, the name is a lesson. Abram's interesting because the word ab means father, Ram means exalted. And it turns out, if you become a king or queen of righteousness, you become an exalted father or mother. So Abram actually has these blessings of exaltation. His other name is, again, you have father. And Raha means multitudes. You might remember in Genesis chapter 12, 1 through 3, God promised him an endless multitude of posterity. And so right here in Abraham's name is a core lesson or essence of what the whole Abrahamic promise or the God's covenant to Abraham is all about, is that Abraham would be a father of multitudes. And all of us, if we seek after righteousness, will become kings and queens of peace and be the fathers and mothers of multitudes. These are some of the lessons that we find in the names in Genesis chapter 14.